All right, what's up guys? Today, I wanna to talk a little bit about Achilles tear prevention, right? We see so many athletes getting injured, NFL, NBA, and when I see those injuries, I'm like, man, these are professional athletes. If they're getting injured, how the heck can I prevent myself from getting injured? And the good news is a lot of times they're getting injured for different reasons, right? If you're a Aaron Rodgers football quarterback, someone that's 300 pounds lands on your back and pushes your heel down to the ground in your calf tears, that's a little bit different uh, than a non-contact planting uh, injury. And so there are some things that we can do to help prevent Achilles injuries. And so some of the stuff that I do, I use this as like some of my warm up stuff, especially on a leg day or a day where I'm gonna do plyometrics or sprinting. And so I'm gonna take you through those things today. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to work on lengthening the calf and Achilles muscle under load. And so a lot of times what we see is what I would call the Achilles death zone, which is as you're planting, right? If I, if I was like playing football and I planted and my heel goes down to the ground and then I start to take off, my Achilles is really stretched and it's under a lot of load because I'm trying to propel myself forward. I'm gonna try to recreate that situation. And so one of the ones that I like to do is I like to go on a wedge that's in an incline and I'll work on a single leg calf raise. You could do this kind of holding on so you don't have to do it in balancing, or you could do it balancing. And you're just gonna really work on going down and getting a stretch into the Achilles and calf and then coming back up out of it. Now, if you have one of these nice tilt boards, you can kind of do it at different angles so I can get really steep. Now I've got a lot of stretch on my Achilles and so I can practice coming up and down into that position and stretching and strengthening that Achilles throughout the motion. The other thing that I'll do a lot of times is I'll get on a slant board and I'll do hopping exercises. And this is like working on getting my calf used to going flat down, getting that fast, that fast stretch, and then being able to explode back up. Before you do that phase, you might even just do like some bouncy calf raises. So my toes aren't actually leaving the ground. I'm just kind of bouncing up and down. But again, I'm trying to get my calf and Achilles used to that force. And for the vast majority of you out there, who have a risk of tearing your Achilles, that's gonna be what it's from, is your calf and Achilles is just not used to going really stretched and producing force. And so it gets stretched and it tries to produce force and it rips. You just gotta prepare yourself for that. The other thing that I like to do is uh, sled pushing. What I'll do is I'll put, I'll put the sled on as heavy as possible and then I'm just doing slow pushing. And so, you know, you might not have a sled you could do like even just pushing into a wall. You don't have to be walking, but I'm trying to do a couple things. One, as I walk, sometimes I'm gonna let my heel stay down and then I'm gonna push off. I'm gonna work on stretching. And then some of my pushing, I'm gonna to try to keep my heel elevated and I'm gonna push through the ball of my foot. And I'm just gonna work on creating uh, stability in my ankle. Because what I wanna be able to do, first off, is if I plant, I wanna be able to keep my heel up because if I let my heel go down to the ground and then I plant off, again, I'm getting that really long stretch and that overstretching could cause that tearing of that Achilles or the calf muscle. First thing I wanna be able to do is really be able to absorb force without my heel going to the ground every time. These are a few different things that you can work on. I said, I sprinkle them into my daily program, especially for leg day. I'll do calf raises on a wedge as a warm up. I'll do sled push, sled pull as part of my warm up activity. And that helps get my legs ready for the actual workout, but it also helps to do things like injury prevention.